Hello and welcome to Max 8 tutorial number 4. Basic Max 8, more objects. We just had an introduction in the last tutorial, so we're just going to learn a couple more objects here. Uh, let me just, there we go. Um, so and in the last tutorial we, lear we learned the three sort of basic objects, comment, message, and metro, and we threw in a couple other objects. This is the toggle and the button. And when we lock our patcher, which you can do either by clicking this button here or hitting Command E on a Max, probably Control E on a PC, you can lock your patcher and you can make the metronome run. And here we go, stopping it. So we get the basic gist of, of these objects here, and maybe it's time to just start being able to do stuff. So what can you do? You've got a metronome. It counts steadily. You could um, count. You could make a counter. You could make a timer. So let's just go with that and say, well, what do we want to do here? We're going to uh, type the letter N, get a new object, type in counter, and then um, I'm going to have it count from 1 to 10. There it is. Okay, so this is going to bang on the counter. See, uh, that little sign comes up there, counter, integer, bang, are counted. Uh, so there we go. And that's going to run the counter. I'm going to type the letter I and get an integer box here. Connect the output. That says current count to this here. And one last thing, I'm going to type letter B again and get a bang over here. If you hover your mouse over here, you'll see that it says carry count. So when it gets to the 10, it's going to, um, it's, it's actually going to send out a number here, but this thing will count it as a bang. We could also, if you hover over here, um, this shows you when it's hit the maximum. So why don't we do that? Maybe we'll want to use the integer for something else. But sometimes things can be used for two purposes here. Sorry, now I've gotten distracted. Okay, here we are. So we've got a very simple thing going on here. Let's take a look at it. We turn on the metronome with the toggle. The metronome starts running. Bang, bang, bang. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bang. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, well, let's stop this now, this craziness, and unlock our patcher again. And I sometimes duplicate things. I could just type the letter I over here, but just to show you how to get stuff done, we're going to hit the option, click on this, drag it over here, and connect it to carry count. And now we'll see what's going on here again, lock the patcher, the metronome's running, bang, 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 and this already says that it has gone past 10 two times. Oh, now it's gone past three times. Fantastic. Um, so we've counted from one to 10 three times, coming up on four times here. Done it. Okay, stop. Uh, counters aren't very good unless you can set them and reset them. And uh, the way to do that, let's take a look here. I'm going to unlock my patcher again and wiggle down here. This says resets counter to number immediately. This says resets counter to number on next clock, which would be the next bang that comes out of here. Could probably use either one of these. And this sets the direction if you want to count up down or up and then down, um, you can type in a third argument, which would actually be the, the first argument here. It goes ahead of that. But if there's only two arguments, it ignores that. Okay, sorry, that's confusing. But um, so right now the count is just counting from one to 10. If we put a zero in front of that, it wouldn't change anything. It would just count upward from one to 10. If we put a one in front of that, it would count downward from 10 to one. Okay, for the moment, let's just count up to 10. So what I'm going to do 
is take this bang up here and change its name to zero. Okay, and then connect it to, I'm going to connect it here so that it, um, we see it, we know how high we count, and then this will um, show up on the next click, right? So, and how are we going to reset that? When this hits the maximum flag, that will reset it. Hey, I'm going to show you another trick here real quick. Go up to Options. See this here? Segmented Patch Chords. Yours probably looks like this. Click on Segmented Patch Chords. You'll get a little check mark there. And now, click, click, click. click, click, and then make sure it goes to the left hand inlet. There it goes. So now this thing is going to reset to zero when it gets here. And we are going to be even cooler than that. We're going to take this zero and send it over to the toggle switch here and send it a zero, which will shut it off. So, what's going to happen here? We're going to turn the toggle on. It's going to count. Bang, bang, bang. When this thing reaches the next maximum flag, it's going to hit this bang. That's going to come around here. Trigger this zero. The zero, well, the zero is going to shut the metronome off and also say the next time you start, you're going to be on zero. Okay, let's try it. Seven eight, nine, bang. Okay, so as uh, mentioned before, this is going to be, this went to five carry counts. It was on four last time. The zero did shut this off. Now, interestingly, of course, it ended up on zero because it's counting to 10, so zero is the next number. So we don't see whether this worked or not, but it, it did in fact reset to zero. Let's turn it on again and see what happens it started on zero. So it went zero, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Nine, bang, up, oh, and that is the first carry count. So it's reset the whole counter back to zero and it's starting its carry count over. So that's good. So now if you were counting up to, you know, to, to, to 12 carries or whatever you're doing here, making a clock, I don't know, um, you could, um, see that this uh, set this gets set back to zero. So now you have your counter running around here, you click this and this goes. So what I would say though is that since this is only counting one to ten and now it's doing zero on the next carry count, we could either just uh, we could move this over to make it work a little better to there. And that way, instead of it having count counting zero twice the next time around, it'll just count zero once. Should we test it? Oh, I guess we have to. There we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, bang. And it's gone to zero. And now we're going to start it again and see if it starts on zero or whether it starts on one. One, two, three. So great. There you have it. It is a little tiny thing that um, counts to 10. All right. Almost useful, but, <laughs> but comments, anyone? Comments? Useful? Where's that question mark? There it is. Okay. Useful? Um, no, not really, because we can't set the timer yet. Well, how would we do that? We need some way to set this timer. So let's uh, go ahead and put uh, an integer box up here. And we will use a nice segmented patch cord to come down to here. There we go. So now 
um, we can set this to whatever we want. We can say, well, let's set to 12 and uh, see how it goes there. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, bonk, hit the thing, came around, shut off, and now it should reset back to zero. So yeah, that seems useful. Now we can set the time that we want this to record for. So let's learn a new object and make this even more useful. Let's uh, Command E, we unlock our patch, whoop, there we go. Command E, unlock our patcher. And um, let's learn about the U menu. Type the letter N and then type the U, M, E, N, U. It pops right up there and you can see it's blank. This is going to be an object that we'll need to um, go to uh, the inspector to find out about. So highlight this however you wish to. You can just drag over it like that or select on it and then come over here and scroll on down until you see menu items and click on the edit. So here we are with our empty menu items and we'll put in um, Things that we want to time. A useful timer could make, uh, could time for, oh, let's say uh, 10 seconds. Or 30 seconds. Or it could make a soft boiled egg. I suppose then it could also make a hard-boiled egg. And um, as long as we're thinking about this stuff, um, uh, oh, I guess we could go back here and edit. We better put in here, don't you um, steep your tea for exactly three minutes and 15 seconds or something. So we'll say perfect cup of tea. Perfect, perfect cup of tea for those Arthur Dent fans here. And we've typed all that in here. We hit OK and we see what happens. Um, we'll click back in here and hit Command E. So we have 10 seconds, 30 seconds, perfect cup of tea, soft boiled egg, and a hard boiled egg. Oh, how fantastic. I can barely wait to make this thing work. But here's the problem. Uh, let's type the letter M and see what this thing's really sending out as messages when we get those things. So that's uh, one message box. I'm going to option click on it and make another one. And let's see what we've got here command e we lock our patcher and 10 seconds here sends out a zero and here sends out 10 seconds i'm just gonna stretch this out so that we can see so this is item number zero in the menu and this is the name of the item so let's lock our patcher again and see what they all do 30 seconds that's number one. I know, I know it's programming. They sometimes count from zero. Go figure. But, and it's 30 seconds. Perfect cup of tea. Spits out a two and perfect cup of tea. These are great things, but they're stunningly useless to our timer so far because it has no idea what this is going to mean. So, let's figure out how we can translate this to our timer. So we'll move this up to the top. And now we're going to learn about the select object. So let's type N, type the word select. Yes, and it starts showing up there. And then we received some numbers there and they were a zero through four. So make a space and then type zero space one space, two space, three space, four. Okay, so 
when select detects any of these numbers, it'll send out a bang here sends out a bang if input matches zero. Okay, sounds good to me. So what could we do with that bang? Well, let's see, menu item number, well, number zero is 10 seconds. So we could send out a message. Oops, unlock my patcher. Message 10, right? I happen to remember the next one's um, for 30 seconds. So we'll just uh, duplicate this one. Option click on that. It probably would have been easier to just type M and then I wouldn't have to go through this. Whoops. But it's okay. I don't mind. 30 seconds. Uh, perfect cup of tea was three minutes. That's 60 seconds times three. That's 180. Just typed in M and then typed 180. Uh, any egg connoisseurs out there? Soft boiled egg, soft boiled egg. I've heard five to seven minutes. So I'm going to say six minutes. Six minutes times 60 seconds. That's 360 seconds. Is it? Yeah, well, let's just say it is and a hard-boiled egg I believe is 12 minutes 12 minutes times 60 seconds uh, anyone anyone Bueller uh, 12 times 60 that's got to be 720 seconds so message 720, there we go. So, by the way, I see that I've made a mistake here twice. Look very closely at these. Look what I did. If this gets selected, it's going to get a bang in there, and it will be no good here. We'll just do it so that we can see how things go badly when you're sloppy. So that would be a, what, the 30 seconds bang. Duh. Okay, so let's fix both of those before we go any further. If you highlight this um, patch cord and then you put your, you grab it by the red light, you can pull the patch cord over to the correct inlet, which should be the left hand one. We have to do the same thing for this one. Grab it by the red light. <laughs> and then we're going to fix this and put it back to 30. There we go. Okay. Uh, red one, red one, red one, red one, red one. Great. Oh, what are these going to do? Well, let's see. They have two things they have to do. They have to tell this thing to uh, have a different number. And they also, I suppose if you choose this, it should shut the timer off and reset it, which would be this one. So let's learn another object. This is going to be the trigger object. So type in N and you can type just the T or you can type trigger. And uh, we'll just type trigger just so you get used to the, its name, but you can just type T. Okay. And with the trigger object, any information coming into it um, reacts on whatever you type after it. So the first thing we want it to do, it, well, and this, is, this is funny too, it goes from whatever's the furthest to the right to whatever's furthest to the left. So the last thing that we want it to do, if you say this, is to put the number in here. So let's um, we're going to type an I because it's an integer. If you were putting a float in there, you would type an F. Um, and then before it does that, we want it to um, send out a bang, for which you type a B. Okay, so what's going to happen? The 10 is going to come into the trigger. 
and it's going to hit a bang. The bang will come out here. We'll use that for the zero, shut everything off, and then the uh, integer is going to come out here and go into this box. That's our plan. And now, learning more stuff, cool stuff about Max, in the old days, you'd have to go and take each one of these and drag a, a, a wire over to here. But now you can go backwards. If you start here and you start patching, now push your shift key down, push your shift key down, click, click, don't click, let your shift key up and finish. Okay, if you don't let your shift key up, you end up with an extra patch cord and you can't get rid of it. Okay, and then I'm going to put in a nice uh, segmented patch cord here to be neat. Click, 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 segmenting my patch cords. There we go, coming around to the top. And then we go back and we connect this one in some sort of neat fashion to our zero. And that's going to be the thing that resets the metronome and resets this back to zero. So let's lock our patcher and set this thing to 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Why not? And go. And away it is counting. I know 30 seconds is a long time. But in that time, we can start to um, appreciate uh, or up to 12 seconds that we learned the U menu today. And that has been really exciting. Um, here, let's lock the patcher while we watch for the big finish here. Everybody, 27, 28, 29, 30. Happy New Year. You saw this go off. The carry counted to five and everything stopped fantastic. And then if we wanted the perfect cup of tea, we could just go ahead and do it. Bang, it's off and running. So while we're making that tea, let's just go over it. We learned the U menu. I'm going to option click on this thing. We learned the select object. Whoops. Forgot. You can't use uh, return with select because then it just sticks there. We learned the trigger. And, of course, first but not least, we learned the counter. So there you have it. What are we up to? 45 seconds? Well, listen, everybody. This has been a lot of fun. And I'm just going to say, you don't need to hang around to watch for the stunning end of this. But um, I'll see you in the next video. Patch well and enjoy your tea.